All right. Um, let's start with the motor. Motor, I did notice right off the bat that it's low on antifreeze. Actually, really low. Tried to find a leak anywhere. <clears throat> I couldn't find anything. It's not leaking on the radiator. There isn't signs of water leaking anywhere, really. Except, you know, a little here. But it's low for a reason. They don't go low for no reason. Not a huge deal. The battery seems a little weak when I started it. I'm not sure of the age. This is the time of season when batteries go out. This one doesn't shake like the other one I looked at. And it runs good. There's no check engine lights on. No codes. So as far as mechanically, just looking at it and you know figured out the codes not having any codes it's in better shape than the other one and this one doesn't have hell damage but motor transmission uh, haven't checked the transmission haven't test drove it yet but uh, I mean there's no severe leaks everything's fairly dry the tires I believe one of them looks decent this one's definitely needs to go the brake pads They look thicker than the back ones. They're probably probably half, maybe a third life on the front and the rear. We'll get those in a second with this tire. It looks fairly decent. There's not signs of cracks in it. But the way the other tire is wore. It looks like possibly alignment. It's too bad on the outside. <clears throat> and this back left tire, it's decent. It's starting to show signs of, you know, the sun dry rot. And the rear pads, they are. probably a quarter life they're actually probably squeaking if not we'll be squeaking soon <clears throat> there's not much life on the back ones and this tire is really not the greatest shape but yeah not the greatest shape that front right tire looks decent compared to all of them. <clears throat> Let me get the body. Huh? Yeah. No, nah, I'm fine. I appreciate it. I'm just going to make a video for the customer and send him a few videos and stuff. Alrighty. I've never had it up. Alright, let me stop.